Check out what the leftist school boards will do to you if you dare to try to interfere with their dogma and propaganda and brainwashing. Afternoon. My name is Nicole Solis, and I am a mother from Rhode Island who was sued by the teachers union simply because I wanted to know what my kindergartner would be learning in school. And here's how this happened. I asked to see the curriculum, and my school told me I had to submit a public records request. The curriculum wasn't posted online, and it wasn't available in a school district. Then I asked them if they were teaching gender theory, and they told me that they don't call children boys and girls, and they embed the values of gender identity into every classroom, including kindergarten, and they didn't want to answer any of my questions further. They told me that they would communicate with me only through public records requests, and that is the only way I could get my questions answered. And when I did submit the public records request that they told me to submit, and I submitted hundreds because I had hundreds of questions, my school board then put my name on the agenda of a public school board meeting and held a public school board meeting to discuss suing me for submitting the request that they told me to submit. In a five hour long school board meeting, they openly debated my moral character, my political motivations. They said that I was causing chaos, wreaking havoc, harming the district, harming children. One school board member even said she felt unsafe and started to cry because, as you see, I'm really scary standing here <laughs> right now. And they really just tarred and feathered me for asking questions. And they had never met me before. And this was the first school board meeting that I had ever been to in my life. They wanted to send a message to other parents that if you ask questions, they will come after you. Well, at the end of this meeting, they decided that they, they wouldn't sue me for asking questions because they never intended on actually suing me. They just wanted to publicly humiliate me in a school board meeting that was a show trial. And when that happened, then the teachers union, the largest teachers union in the country, the NEA, did file a lawsuit against me to bully me and harass me with frivolous litigation and to send a message to other parents that if you ask questions about public education, they will come after you. So she asks for the curriculum and is told that she must go through a bureaucratic process in order to get it. And then they haul her in, in front of a tribunal, in front of a Spanish inquisition for daring to question them, for daring to throw a monkey wrench into the propaganda, into the brainwashing that they wish to do of our children because they don't believe in boys and girls, because they don't believe that there are two sexes, because they don't care about the reality that exists in nature, but rather because they live in a zero gravity environment, want to propagandize their viewpoints and ideological positions upon children because they are the virtuous ones. And yet, the moment that you question them, they try to throw a lawsuit at you. This is who's in charge of our school board. So I just encourage every single sane person out there to run for school boards, to actually take these positions seriously that weren't taken in such a manner before because we had more social cohesion and you can pretty much trust those who got on the school board to generally serve the best interest of the school children in the community. Instead, those who wish to run for such a position today are mainly of the ideological variety that wants to instill their viewpoint into your children and deny two genders in order to propagate critical race theory into them. And kudos to this woman for standing up to this disastrous, heinous school board who should be the ones scolded, who should be the ones taken out and tarred and feathered versus what they did to her. Again, it's scare anybody from speaking up against them. And that has they, is how they inculcate their ideas into the kids today, into your children, and how they will turn them against you and up in society so it takes more of such brave people to stand firmly against them and for you all to stand with women like this one who bravely stood up against those who wished her ill and wanted to smack her down for interference with their ideological hypnotization of your children.